All right, welcome back. We are back in the slime. To so. more slimes. Too bad we already used the name Slime Time Live for an episode. Mm. I'm just now realizing that, and I'm and I'm sad about our lack of forethought. I forgot to slime up. What do you mean, forgot to slime up? For method acting. Why? How would you slime up? Uh, with slime. Okay. Those eyes. Whose, Whose are, are they? they? <laughs> uh, sound off in the chat. Uh, all of our uh, chaos head fans here. At some point, we'll actually have to play the damn game. They've got to port the good version. That's true. That's true. As soon as we don't have to go through that whole fucking rigmarole to get it to fit like legally in English. All right. So let's see what we do. Oops. Wait. We can retreat. We can. We won't, but we can. I see. Yeah, we could, but like... Why? Why? What are you going to do, buddy? God, I can't get over that one high-pitched, like, woodblock percussion in this track. It's so good. Is that like a TR-909 hit? I have no idea. Cool. Stunned him. Let's get the uh, machine gun out yeah. now. Yeah. Spray, then pray. Do oh oh shit! I meant to, I didn't mean to bleed on that same one again. Oh, oh well, that's fine. Let's have you concentrate, my dude. Okay, cool. Do some more concentration. Well, this sucks. Does the machine gun hit harder than the shotgun? I don't know if that's the case. It's hard to tell uh, without having like my numbers out here in front of me. Here, concentrate some more. Get out of here. Because it does like 50 to 60, and the machine gun seems to do like 15 to 18 damage four times, but less accuracy. So about the same? It would put it a little over if you didn't miss. If you didn't miss and you got the high roll every time. Yeah. I guess. Hey, we got another note. From an anonymous woman. Do you want to read the note from an anonymous woman? Sure. Oh no, she's from QAnon. <laughs> I am cursed. I am broken. The magical infection is all over my face. It's all over for me. My neighbors hate me. My remaining family fear me. And I hate and fear myself. I don't know what powers are in me. But I don't want to know. Because I'm scared of hurting other people. I'm scared of other people hurting me. I only want to hurt myself. I want to die, but... I'm too cowardly to do the job. I want to slice my face open. I want those scales gone. I want to feel my own blood run down my neck. But I keep getting cold feet. I could wander out there, hope some marauding monster rips me apart. But what if somebody finds my body? What if my family still cared deep down and was hurt by it? It's better to disappear entirely. Let them think of me as the selfish, cursed monster I am. Let go of any guilt. Let go of my past. Let go of my pain. I heard stories that nobody has returned from the deepest levels of a slime den. And I hope that the stories are true. I've opened the gate. Please don't come after me. Are we going to have to encounter that woman later on? I think we may just have encountered her. Ah... Uh. I really have a feeling that people are getting slimed. That's uh, just me, though. Yeah, let's see. Full reload. All right. Let us move on, healer. Oh, I forgot. What voice did I give this guy? Something real gruff like this, right? Yep. Somebody who don't want none of this nonsense. It's just yep, here to yep. take a paycheck and do a job. Except he's got a lot more fire and brimstone in him because he's a lot more <laughs> the religious zealot type. So he's the guy that's going to raise his voice when he starts saying certain things rather than keeping it all in the mellow. 
Is that it? Did I find it again? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay. Works for me. God, voice summoning is a hard thing, isn't it? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Doors. No, oh, no, this here is a top of the line door. Must be a first line of defense. You, there's a number on the buttons, which I assume opens the door. Are you ready? Uh, no, we're not ready yet. I think we should rest first. You miserable coward. If you wanted to rest so badly, you should have done it earlier. You're a party leader, though. Also, I forgot to save, so... <laughs> Let's also have you heal yourself so we can start on the right foot. Save our game. All right. He puts the numbers in. What kind of a door noise is that? What on earth? What is that? A bunch of these foul creatures melded together. I will. I can. I must. They stare at me all over my house. Utterly disgusting. I hate the noise. Foul bugs. Die, die, die. A truly awful abomination. You better keep up. This looks to be our toughest fight yet. All right, uh, so let's start out with our usual, let's do a warning shot to stun it. T and we'll have you concentrate and then inflict bleed as soon as you can. Do we want to just keep shotgunning it? Yeah, we might just want to empty our shotgun, because I don't think there's, unless it starts being evasive, we have no reason to switch to revolver, and unless it creates ads, we have no reason to switch to the machine gun. Yeah. So I guess let's just keep going with that. Let's have you do a bleeding slash. And I'll have you just w work on concentrating now that you've inflicted bleed. One of the slimes achieves a will of its own and pulls itself from the mass. I see. That's a floating one, isn't it? Yeah. Let's equip our revolver. Yeah, I think we'll just right now focus on getting our healer up to... Uh, oh, cool. That nice works. Crit. Good crit. Good crit. I'm fine with okay, that. Let's get, let's get our shotgun back on and reload that while we... Well, okay, fine. Uh, can't be bled right now and it can't be stunned. Okay, so we're just going to have you... Thwack it. Thwack it? Yeah, let's have you thwack it. Yeah, there's no reason a bleeding slash if it can't bleed. I think we're good on TP right now. Yeah. Plenty of toilet paper. <laughs> Could you imagine if we didn't have enough toilet paper? Yes. Me too. More slimes pull themselves from the mass. Oh, good. These ones are machine gunnable. Cool. We're just going to do a warning shot first. And then we have you bleeding slash on the... One that'll heal everyone. The gooey slime. I like this boss theme. Yeah, this boss theme is very good. Uh, let's go ahead and just switch over to machine gun right now. More like cool percussion like conga samples or something. It's pretty fucking cool. I can vibe with that. Okay, we don't need to heal you just yet because heal does 150, right? So we're going to do a group heal. Yeah. Group Might as well. We're getting good. pretty... Uh... Okay. Cool. Slime mask still can't be bled, which is unfortunate. Let's switch back to the shotgun. And attack this slime. Also might as well have you... Get this thing out of here real fast. That didn't help. Okay. 
Luckily, they don't do that much damage to us. Slime mask can also get... Re yeah, they don't, thankfully. Let's have you do another bleed on slime mask. Yeah. There it is. It bleeds a lot, huh? It made a noise. Slime mask whips itself into a frenzy. Energized. I don't know what that means, but that sounds very not good for us. We're just going to go ahead and attack that. Get some more and TP. I see. So group heal's got the benefit that we can just do it one time here. Yeah. Let's do reload. Or do we want to switch to our machine gun and just roll with that for now? Sure, why not? As long as we keep the damage up, right? Yeah. I guess we can... Wait, can we stun it again? We can stun it again. So we should have just gone with the shotgun. Oh, well. We'll use up the rest of our ammo here. Magic. Heal seems pretty critical. Yo, boss one down. Nice. The Crusade continues. experience is a lot. Julius is now level five. Wow. It went up to I feel five. like I got to them there, level five. We, we really did it. The healer holds out his palm to offer a high five. Put your hand down. I'm not touching you. You're too excitable. You've had to let that thing beat you around and knock some more sense into you. What? What's your problem with me? I've been doing nothing but help you this whole time. Isn't it obvious? I can't trust anything with the essence of the Herald, that demon. The purity of your soul spells all evil and all evil falters in the heart's bright light. What? Purity, Sacrament 713, idiot. Listen, not everybody that's around a shooting star when it lands is infected by magic. Freaks like you are just a minority, in fact. I firmly believe that people infected by magic are chosen. Only the righteous souls reject that false god's blessings. Deep down, there's something evil about you. Something that attracted that power. So it serves me right not to trust you. Oh, come on. I'm mostly heal. You know that I'm not dangerous to you. So you say. It's a lot that we still don't understand about the daemon, about magic, about those accursed slimes. We just witnessed a horrible mass of them fused together. Some of the people go to the lowest floors of a slime den and never come back. These weak abominations are predictable. Well, what about your own powers? You sure you understand your own powers? Because I swear, if all this healing damns my soul, I will hunt you down and shoot you like the dog that you are. <gasps> I... I'm not putting up with this. Then leave. I can persevere. I don't need you. All right. I'll... I'll stay here. I need this work. Of course, greed sticks you to me. It's not greed. I need food. I need a place to sleep. Dangerous jobs like this, it's all I have. I'm not in it for you or for your crusade. I'm in this to survive. Don't you dare belittle my work, you wretched freak. Fine, then follow me if you must. But you have no right to complain or talk back to me, understand, you miserable bastard? As you said, let's do this like professionals. <sighs> Obtained chapter one. And we got an achievement. Kill it. Two men walked side by side through the caves on a mission to eradicate all the slimes currently on the floor. The atmosphere was tense. Not because of any threat, but because of their attitude toward each other. They did not like being assigned in the same group. The dark-skinned man in a doctor's coat glared at his companion. I say the slime went that way, an Emil Zakin said. His partner, a tall spearman in proper military garb, scoffed. What do you know? You're just a medic, said Thomas Holliday. Not even a field medic at that. See, if you were on a battlefield like I have, you'd have the intuition to know where our enemy is. It's always battlefield this, battlefield that. You haven't told me what war you even fought in, Holiday. Said Emil. Oh my god, their name is Emil. <laughs> and we already know the Drakengard reference is pretty <laughs> explicit, so I'm going to go out on a limb here. 
Hi, guys, it's me, Emil. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> every day's a sale. Every sale's a win. <laughs> how's, how's this song go? <laughs> Thomas frowned. Well, my granddad told me, he began to say. Yeah, what war was he in, Holiday, huh? Emil asked with bitterness. Hey, my granddad did nothing wrong. Sure he didn't. It's real easy to say that. Don't you dare insult my granddad. Well, that whole war was an insult to my country. Listen, he was just doing his job, you... The sounds of squishing took, shook them out of their argument. The slime seemed to have uh, overheard them, seemingly popping out of nowhere. The third member of their group was back, finished with installing the safe room door they were instructed to set up. Zack and Holiday, can you two please cut it out? And annoyed as hell, Kyle Stevens asked. The Angelian man was the researcher of the group, though that didn't mean he wasn't handy with a gun. The researcher fired more shots into the slimes. Help me clear out this mess you idiots made. As he was the only guy keeping the assigned group from killing each other, Emil and Thomas rallied to his words. With a stab of a spear, Thomas punctured apart a slime. With a bash of his medical kit, Emil smashed a gooey slime. The slimes were gone as quickly as they appeared. The, whole, the team worked efficiently when they actually had it together. With that out of the way, Kyle glared at the other two accusingly. <sighs> Holiday, stop saying shit, all right? And Zakin, <sighs> I know it's not equivalent, but please stop being a smartass. The two nodded. Emil got about to his job as healer and started assessing injuries. Thomas got a cut on his leg in the fighting, so Emil reluctantly bandaged him up. Thanks, Thomas said half-heartedly. Hum! Emil said with equal enthusiasm. Emil instead focused his attention on Kyle. Kyle, you know that stuff is bad for you. The researcher had taken to smoking while Emil bandaged Thomas up. I can't help it. Both of you stress me out. All right. Oh. All right, but can you at least wait until we're not in a confined space to smoke? The doctor sighed. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Kyle admitted, deciding to heed his words and stomp it out. So, you got the safe room done? Thomas asked. Yeah, I thankfully got it done, even with you clowns yelling at each other, said Kyle. They started walking down the lit-up path, intending to take a rest at the newly established safe room before heading back up. Oh. There we go. As they walked, Kyle was flipping through a notepad, tapping his head with a pen. How did those slimes get the jump on you two? I'm sorry that Emil over here distracted me, said Thomas. <laughs> the the telling typo. <laughs> that, oh, okay, it was intentional, never mind. It's not how you spell my name, Thomas, Emil said. I. Thomas paused. How'd you know I said that with an E? I just do. Oh, you think you're so smart, huh? Smarter than you. You know what, Emil? What? You and me. Chess game. We'll see who's hot shit then. Fine, let's see who's smarter. Tommy. Hey, only my mom gets to call me Tommy. Shut the f- Hey, both of you, shut the fuck up. Snapped Kyle. With the silence in place, Kyle turned his attention back to his notes. The problem with the slimes appearing was that I wasn't- Oh. That's fine. I thought you were taking over because I was mid-sip of my coffee and I was like, oh, thanks. Oh, I actually didn't realize. Problem with the slimes appearing was that I wasn't far from you two. Should have seen them appear. Perhaps they materialized in the cracks in the floor and walls. He yeah. racked his brain over the dilemma, as he has been for the last several weeks. He knew the deadline was approaching. Soon, he wouldn't have government funding to help pursue his research. The answer to the mystery, however, was still out of reach. Is this an earthquake? Emil asked. Kyle. Uh, Kyle nodded, though he had a guess as to what it actually was. Might be. Let's hurry. You heard him. Walk faster, Emil, Thomas yelled. What? I'm not even in the front. Their argument got cut off when they heard something move above them. In their panic, they started dashing down the hallway, pushing and shoving each other. Then the ceiling collapsed. 
Well, that's fucked. That's not fun at all. Yeah. All right. Let's do some housekeeping real quick here. Full reload. Save. Carry on. Oh, they're fine to step on. It's just... Hmm. Floor eight. They're, they're going to step all over us. Filthy, filthy Tycab bastards. They're just waiting. They hate us. Don't you see? Don't you? There's a spider slime. Ah! What are you screaming about? Uh, well, I saw a lot of spiders when I was still sleeping in caves, and it's not a good experience. I don't care. Help me eradicate these things. How many do we have here? Okay, just the two of them. All right. Slimeder. Cool. Got the stun on. All right. Is the spider slime going to be hard to attack? It's unclear. Let's let's just try attacking this first, see what happens. Let's have you gather some TP. Uh, apparently I not. See. Unless we got really lucky. I mean, there's no way to actually know, but... Cool. The crusade continues. Healer's now level five. Clear cut, realized. Wonder what that does. S spider aside, these slimes seem weirder. Nah, they're just saying old sentences, but it's the same kind of nonsense their weaker kid will babble about. Hmm. <laughs> it's like every time this trope comes up in a game, you know exactly what follows, right? Right? We all know exactly <laughs> what follows. We've all done a speed run of near. I did it Everyone once for here. an achievement. Oh my god. And it was it was really sad cuz you know what I did? I saved over the file where I was getting the seeds for the uh the one gardening achievement. Oh, which that's took what me, happened. Like, a week. Oh no. Multiple like it was I was unhappy with myself. I forgot that's what happened. All right. What's healer's new skill do? Sorry, I'm still getting used to the menuing here. Hyper focus to land a guaranteed hit on Oh, so cool. So they've got a um so they've got a um accuracy dealy with thingy now. Yeah. I like that. Ooh, the music is different too. Listen. Yeah. To oh, that's a pit. Okay. It's hard to tell sometimes. Let's go left first. It just brings us up here. Okay, you know what? Hold on one second here. <laughs> yeah, okay. You Our kryptonite. Ah, okay, that's so much easier. <laughs> I know you can't see anything, but what I just did was I... We originally had the game superimposed on the top of the... Um, on top of the uh, OBS gang we have recording this. And it's slightly smaller than the window that has the... the. <laughs> it was not fun, okay? It looked like the game was just bigger. Ten years of my life and they just fired me. How could they? How could they? All right, there's a tiny little spider friend. Cool. So let's do... Warning shot. Let's do a bleeding slash on the gooey slime. And then it's time for some machine fun. Indeed, machine fun. I don't know how tough the spider slimes are either, but... Only one way to find out. Not very. All right, cool. Cool. All right, the crusade continues. I'm not putting up. I'm not putting up with any more. We have to do something about them. 
Oh, we got autoed into another fight. Yeah, oh. because we were waiting so long on the screen with the dialogue for the fight starting that another fight queued. I didn't realize it worked that way. <laughs> oh, that's so not good. Okay. It's fine. We'll be fine. All right, let's do a warning shot. You heal yourself. That's called doing a physician. Indeed. Cool. So it looks like the small ones do evade on occasion here. Not super effectively. Well, that's not good. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to have to find a better way of dealing with this. Let's go with our revolver here. Okay. It makes sense to concentrate just so there's more heal fuel for when we're yeah, done. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Whew. Well, I'm glad we made it through that. Skills. Let's have you do a heal and a heal. Not enough. Not enough? Shite. All right. Well, whatever. All right. Let's keep going. It's two of them. See a spider friend over here. Oh, it's a big pit in the middle. Okay, that's... I, I see now. So if you look at the tops of them, they have, like, the little fall lines. Mm. I got him. I got him. Killed that son of a bitch. Claimed the monsters did it. It's not enough. Hmm. Well, that's worrisome. All spider... Oops, all spiders. My new favorite breakfast cereal. Is it? <laughs> no, it's no one's favorite breakfast cereal. No one's favorite breakfast cereal? All right, hold on. So what what's the best way to go about this, do you think? Revolver and one at a time or just try the machine gun spray and bray? I'm I'm down for machine gun. I feel like when you've got 3 of them and enough bullets, the accuracy of machine gun becomes enough accurate. Enough accurate, right? Okay. We do some more concentration, my friend. Wow. Yeah, that's not especially great, is it? And yeah. Cool. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to have you go ahead and just do the revolver, my guy. There we go. Okay, let's try this. Cool. And now we'll have you do a take aim on that, and we'll have you do a heal on yourself. Yeet. Yeet. All right, so it's getting a little bit... We've got to be a little bit more careful in our planning now. Indeed. So let's have you... Full reload. And then we'll have you... Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, we just want to make sure we save. I'm always saving. Always be saving. That <laughs> That is the... I just want to hear him choking. Hmm. Interesting. I don't like this. Are those the same rock slimes we've fought before? The same ones? What do you mean by that? They're the same kind of slime, are they? I wasn't sure if it was a new kind. Yeah, it's just rock slimes. Yeah. Okay, let's do a... Bolt spray. Concentrate. Excellent. More bolt spray. 
It's not a whole lot, but we'll take it. The the funny little whoop <laughs> whoop is very good. Yeah. Things are bulky. Yeah. I do not like that. Barricaded. Okay, that's not good at all. Okay, one down. Heal off. Oh, there we go. Eat. Hopefully there's not a rock puzzle. There probably is. But we got it in a very poor position for this. And then a full reload. Nice. I like how this game doesn't have stat scaling. It's just the difficulty of the strategy of fighting the different enemies. Yeah. It's really interesting. Like, you get new, like, uh, abilities and stuff, but it's mostly about... Oh? There's the rock puzzle. Can we even get it there? Maybe. I don't think we can. It's No, it's in, a, it's in too narrow of a hallway. Hold on, let's cycle this. All right, let's see where it, it probably because it probably spawns in a place where we can actually use it. Yeah. Right. Okay. I see. I see. I see you, game. I, I'm a Pokemon pro. I know my way around these kinds of puzzles. <laughs> Talking about then the HMO4. <laughs> I would tell you about my time in the Kanto region, Hela. I have not heard about your time in the Kanto region. <laughs> oh. It's oh. not a hole. Those are fake. Okay. <laughs> filth. You're filth. I'm filth. Okay. You smell like filth. I am filth. <laughs> we we all deserve to die. We all deserve to die. We deserve to die. We deserve to die. We deserve to. Okay. Uh, all right. All righty then. Um. Bullet spray. It's more concentrating. More Daka. And we're going to have you bleeding slash on their Healy one. Cool. All right. Progress. Poggress, if you will. <laughs> what if I won't? Uh, who said you had a part in it? Okay, cool. Now we'll switch to the revolver. Yeah. We're getting the hang of this. We are getting the hang of this. I, I feel I feel a little bit better about it now that I I was worried going into it that I wasn't that it wasn't gonna click with me, but I think I got the hang of it now. There we go. Our HP is getting kind of hugely low. Oh, know? right. We're bleeding. I didn't realize we were bleeding. All right. Let's do a heal on. There we go. I like how it just pops like a balloon. Jeez, this game does make you feel unnerved. I, no funeral. Huh. I see. Surprisingly, we haven't defeated every slime on this floor yet. Interesting. No funeral. I don't know what that means. Probably what it says. Okay.
Wait, that one's not slime. That's that's just blood. That's just blood. Splood. Where could another slime be? They said they come out of the cracks in the walls, remember? What if we interact with those bits in the walls? Nothing okay. Huh. What if the upstairs doesn't go all the way up to the next level? Oh. I ju ju just want to, to stab you. I prefer you did. Why do you have an eyeball, friend? Hello? I leveled up. Uh, you're not supposed to banter with me during the fight here. In fact, I'm going to shoot you real quick. Just, just real fast. Okay. Judgment slime? I'm judging you. Do you feel judged? Fearful? Do you feel judged? I do. Good. I've been flexing my judgy eye every day. Okay, this sucks. What sucks? I don't know what fearful does. Maybe it's making you take more damage? Maybe. Okay, well, we didn't live to find out whatever the hell the negative effect of that was. <sighs> All enemies on the 8th floor have been eradicated. Obtained the notes of Kyle Stevens. Hmm. Didn't we hear about Kyle already? Maybe so. Let's do a full reload. Let's do a save. Property of Kyle Stevens. Do not touch. Wait, Kyle's the one from the last one. The do the one that was keeping Emil and, to and uh, Tommy. Oh! From Property that's... of Kyle Stevens. Do not touch. That's funny. I could have sworn it was from the other ones previously. Who am I confusing it with? Maybe. Because we play this in multiple uh, sessions, sometimes the names don't carry over in our heads. But let's see. Slime research. Wow, we got a lot to go over here. Okay. There's a whole scientific study here. Let's skip to the discussion section. There's an interesting biodiversity in slimes that the lower one gets... The lower one gets, slimes start taking new forms. Normally a dungeon has consistent monster species throughout its entirely, with a guardian like a basilisk, elemental, or angel at the end. The guardian species is derived from the shard directly with how the slimes work and may be the same based on proximity to the shard. For existence, the regular slimes turn into a variant called judgment slimes, which have rarely been seen outside dungeons. The only consistency I've seen is the curious ability for a single slime to split into multiples. All slimes seem to have this ability, regardless of placement. Wonder why that is. Hmm. Intelligence. The whole scientific study. All right, right, yeah. However, while my colleagues believe that slime speech is attributed to possible hallucin effect, hallucination effects of the shard, I believe it's a trait that correlates pro with proximity to the shard rather to biodiversity. Currently not sure how smart they're capable of getting at the moment. Most keep spouting bullshit threats disconnected from reality. However, they sometimes talk directly to us and they seem to understand what we say in turn, in spite of their own ramblings. Creeps me the hell out, to be honest. One thing for sure is that the slimes seem to get angrier the deeper you go. The nature of slimes are the biggest mystery about them. I believe the following things about slimes based on what I've found so far. Slimes spawn on any floor and are not exclusively spawned at the bottom. Slime diversity increases the farther down you go. Speaking capabilities and anger increases the farther down you go. These principles generally correlate with proximity to the shard, but that brings up my main question. How are slimes created, and why? Never mind. <laughs> wow, we got a lot to go through. This dungeon is a burrow type, with the shard embedded deep within the ground from impact. Current dungeon research suggests that all non-corruption type dungeons are separated into three stratum, normal, abstract, and distortion. Hmm. According to what's known so far, further stratums are built on whatever the shard draws from surroundings on the surface. First stratum is a standard cave, which fits in with what is believed of dungeons. The second stratum of the dungeon seems to be the shard's abstract idea of what a church is, resembling church ruins. Hmm. As it is ruined here, however, I believe the foundations of this part of the dungeon is faulty. Petition the captains not to go ahead with the gate construction, but the stubborn idiots won't listen. Also, ugh, there's just piles of slime in these levels of the dungeon. Hate it. Zero out of ten. 
The meteors that land here are actually crystalline shards from the wings of the alien. Initial impact releases a magical distortion that changes everything around it. Any human caught near the impact are likely to gain a magical infection. They also like to they are also likely to then start tumbling down, tumbling down, <laughs> tumbling down. <laughs> so far, the scientific community has agreed on three dungeon types: burrow, tower, and corruption. Burrow type dungeons are the result of shards burrowing into the ground on the force of the impact. Tower dungeons are formed when the magical blast caused by impact causes the surrounding ground to rise up and terraform around the shard. Imagine if humanity unlocked the capability of flight, it'd be easy to deal with these dungeons, but that's dumb. Corruption type dungeons are when shards don't change elevation. On paper, these shards seem the easiest to deal with. However, without the elevation change, the magical energy lingers. As a result, monsters are deadlier. The dreaded angel guardians tend to be associated with these dungeons. From there, monsters begin forming in these dungeons. The types of monsters formed kind of depends on what was around before. Hmm. If the literature holds up, I believe that the last stratum of the dungeon will fully resemble a church, or maybe a church town. But also, the prevalence of these slimes piles suggests it'll also be slimier the further down. The last floor will be like that disgusting shit sticking to everything. I hate it, but my desire to see this research through overrides my disgust. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what to make of that. Why would it be a church? Why not? In a time where firearms are starting to be mass-produced, I admire that Holiday sticks to a spear. In some cases, monsters reportedly shrug off bullets, so I'm grateful for his weapon diversity. Good to know, so we might <laughs> come across ones that we can't attack with our guns later on. Interesting. Less grateful for his attitude, though? Kind of a bitch. He's the type that doesn't question what society thinks. Thinks the almighty government is always in the right. Unfortunately, that means he's also a dick to Zaken. Not sure if he sincerely hates Zaken or if he's just following the crowd. Zaken is too good for how this military force treats him. He's kind of turned into an ass to fight back against the attitude other people give him. I admire that, but I wish he and Holiday would stop butting heads. Petition to see if he could be assigned elsewhere, like with that Delu girl, but as we're the advanced survey team and the superiors insist on having a medic on hand. Ah, the Angle Anti-Alien Defense Department. Bunch of chicken shit cowards. They say that they'll rid this region of the slime den, but I was told that they won't do it. They say it'll shoot the alien out of the sky, but that's just all fucking lies. It's not public yet, but the government plans on restructuring the department to be purely defensive. You don't want to take on the unknown risks of getting into a dungeon unless it's some essential area like the capital or some moneymaker. Using the newfound power of electricity. New engineering techniques and inert pieces of previously destroyed shards. We've developed doors. Fucking doors. For non-essential places, the military just plans on having these doors installed to ward off the problem instead of getting rid of it permanently. And that way, they'll be protecting the local community while setting things up so that a cheaper contractor will do the job of clearing the place. Wow. It'll help that new mercenary economy, they told me, blah, blah, blah. We're supposed to be helping people, damn it, not putting the load on some hero or whatever. My research on slimes, when, when that door is finished, I will no longer have the government funding to pursue further research here. Yes, slimes outside of dungeons are harmless, but the known history of people never returning from bottom floors of slime den prompts concerns. There's a whole lot more we don't know or understand, and if we want to survive this in this new world, we have to understand the threats against us. Interesting. Uh, interesting lore dump. Yeah. Stop. Ugh, sorry, what was I doing? I got the feeling I was doing some of that there reading. <laughs> Don't really like that reading. I believe we've already done all that. I'm just going to go ahead and re-reload because it, it's a comfort thing for me. <laughs> I taking see. Taking the bullets out, putting the bullets back in, taking the gun apart, putting it back together again. You understand me. <laughs> yeah, I got that as a healer too. Taking the blood out, putting the blood back in. Ah, it's spotting me. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You want to fucking die? Not really. <laughs> Do you think you deserve all that? Do you think you deserve to live? Do you think you deserve to breathe? Do you? Do you? Do you? Stop looking at me. I don't... Not a fan I'm of I'm judging that. you. Yeah, you are, and I'm not a fan of it. Okay. Yeah. Fearful, huh? Am 
Um, let's do an attack. Concentrate. Not bad. Okay, that could have been worse. And they give more experience. Well, that's good. What could go wrong? Let's do another full reload. You ah. did not do a full reload. Well, it also yeets me out of the menu whenever I use one of Julius's skills. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm working here. Also, this music. Mm. I'm vibing. Let's check over here first. Huh. Someone made a makeshift rest site here. There's no food to be used with the hot pot. Okay. That spider. Cleared away that's left. What's rest of the rocks? Now anyone can go through. Together we can finally destroy this den. May the blessings of Phoenix be over you. My home. My home was destroyed. They aren't. They aren't going to help me. They'll leave me outside to die. I should destroy their home. They they need to know what it's like to sleep outside, to lose it all. <gasps> the slimes aren't attacking yet. Interesting. Interesting. Express sympathy? Yeah, let's see what happens. Hey, I understand. What are you doing? Finally join the monsters, you cretin? I, we, we... Wait, we got a status on us. I don't know what that status is, but we have it on us. It says targeted, so I assume they're targeting him. Okay. Wow. Yeah, okay. So we're going to take care of the uh, gooey ones first. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, whatever. I got the lucky hit. Nice. Okay. This could have been worse. Let's go with the revolver. Definitely going to need that heal, huh? Yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll just keep grabbing TP and we'll heal after the battle. That way you can have You have bleed, so it'll oh, depend yeah, okay. on if you kill it first. Thank you. I didn't realize we had bleed. Okay. Probably would have been safe. You're probably right, but I just didn't want us to die. No, to I appreciate that. Thank you. I would have. I would have. We, we like, like you. you. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. It was making hot pot. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry because I killed you anyway, but... A little sorry. Tiny bit sorry. Maybe marginally sorry. Okay, so I see some block stuff. I wonder if we're going to have to boulder our way into that. Oh, that's the only way to go now. Okay, let's take a look down here. There's another boulder we can break over here. It's a judgment slime. Okay. Well, let's judge... Liars, 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 liars. They were not crushed. They were not abandoned. Want to kill them. Want to make them pay. Want to kill them. Want to make them pay. I see we're all just having a normal one today. That, that That's good. I'm, I'm really glad everyone can come together and holy shit, what the fuck are we doing? Okay. Okay, more take you out. Cool. That one. Cool. Heal me up. Yay. Well, in a little bit here. Wow. So much damage. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll try to, since we don't have bleed on us, we're just going to try to 
garner some TP this time. Please die. All right, one more TP. There we go. Okay. Cool. Oh, that crit, though. Okay. Let's have you heal. Thank you, friend. Whose name I haven't bothered to learn. <laughs> it says healer, and healer's in quotes. <laughs> Let's see. Is that a Frisky Dingo reference? I think so. Wow. Really, uh, really reaching here, are we? Just being near you disgusts me. Nobody. Nobody would miss you if you disappeared. I hate these. I don't like these at all. What the fuck is that middle one? I don't like this. What are you? What is going on here? Melting slime. Hmm. Okay, I know these go down in one hit, so we should be able to just take care of those. Okay, now we got a melting slime. I don't know Put what it is in the fridge. Okay. Cool. I don't think we got to figure out what melting slime does, so I'm happy with that. I don't know why Julius' skills are the ones that kick me out of the menu every time I do them, but <laughs> th there you go. Try this way first. Okay, there's a slime. Let's just fight you. Sinners, sinners. It's your fault the world is this way. Repent, repent through your blood. I'm beginning to think the slimes might be talking about something glory, else. Glory, glory, glory. Right, we're gonna do, go ahead and just do a warning shot here. And we can take out the bleeding slimes in one hit with our shotgun, so I'm not gonna bother bleeding them. I will bleed the judgment slime though. Wait, which one did you attack? This one? Oh, okay. I thought you attacked the judgy one. Hmm. Oh, that's not good. Can't always kill him in one hit, huh? That's not good at all. Indeed, <sighs> seems like we got lucky with killing him in one hit. Fine. There we go. Progress. There we go. There, that was rough, but we got there. Okay. That could have been worse. Not by much, but like it could have been worse. Encourage. Okay. Interesting. Oh, shit. I didn't realize I didn't have ammo on that. That's fine. You heal. Slimes get angrier. Okay, Angry that's... slime. There we go. Yeah, that could have been worse. 
Self-sufficiency. What does that do? Generating yourself but lowers healer's defense. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. Dick moves. That's what I'm getting out of these. Do full reload. Let's have you do a group heal. Okay. Floor is getting bigger. I think you'll find that it's the same size as it was. The floor in gen. Okay. <laughs> Diggy, 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 diggy. Have to dig. Have to prove them wrong. I can clear this dungeon. I'll shove it in their face. Shove it, shove it, shove it. It's tempting to burrow underground. What are you doing? No. I should be the one doing it, you filthy. Mine, mine. It's mine. Diggy, 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 diggy. Diggy, <laughs> diggy, diggy. <laughs> you, like their, just, you just like their little digging sounds, huh? I can't dig very well because I'm made of slime. Cool. Nice. Blinded, mm. that's not good. Well, luckily it's not affecting Julius. Or, yeah. So we're fine on so DPS. Sit here and concentrate for a while, huh? <laughs> All right. Healers, now level six, signal flare. Interesting. What could that? Magic tip finger to point at someone tar be to be targeted, preferably Julius. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. Wow. I love how the skills are just like, like they are very, <laughs> the skills reflect how, how much these two do not get along. I mean, I say that like it's an equal thing. No, this is all Julius being an asshat, but still. But this one goes well with Julius's stuff that buffs him, but lowers the healer's defense. If oh my you can God. then redirect aggro. Secret yeah, you're teamwork. Right. Teamwork by hating each other in complimentary ways. Hating each other in complimentary ways. That is a sentence that I have heard. You, you think you're better than everyone else. I'll, I'll wipe that smile off, you smug son of a bitch. Okay, we got a spider, we got a melty boy, and we got a regular. Okay. Huh. Let's try it. Yeah. What was it? Was it zealous speech? Yeah. Wow, that 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 artwork is very stressful. Do we want to try a like a machine gun blast that hits everything? Yeah, let's see what the difference is. Now that we're empowered, see how hard we can hit. Oh, that's that's appreciable. That's like yeah. one and a half. Well, no, that's like not one and a half, but that's like a twenty-five percent boost or something. More than twenty-five. It was usually doing sixteen or seventeen, so that's like a solid fifty percent boost. Oh yeah, that's so well worth it. Wow, I like that. <laughs> Chapter two. All right, let's see that. Items. Chapter 2. You want to take this one? Thomas Holiday came to, sitting himself back up against the cave wall. 
The path behind them was blocked off by rocks, the cave-in trapping them from the surface. Damn, nice going, Emil, he said to a rousing figure. Huh? The groggy man tried to process his words. What he said and the situation finally sets in. What do you mean? Uh, literally, what did I do? Thomas said nothing. He honestly didn't have a good reason. Their disorganized run had them bumping into each other, delaying their escape. There was no one specific to blame. <sighs> Sorry, Thomas mumbled sincerely. Uh, is Kyle over there with you? Emil asked. Thomas shook his head. The two of them found the strength to stand up to look for their fellow. Emil looked toward the new blockade with a more discerning eye. Oh, sweet Phoenix. Their third companion was unconscious, his legs trapped under a rock. D do something, said Thomas. Right, just, well, help me get him out of here first. Without needing outside guidance, the two got to working together, trying to move the rock off of Kyle and pulled him out. Well, it's good that he's unconscious right now. Emil said quietly, assessing his injuries. Is there anything you can do? Come on, you're the doctor here. We have to bring him to the safe room. There should be more supplies there. All right. Hey, grab his legs, will you? Can't carry him by myself. Ah, uh, the hell? What happened? Ah! I don't think you used enough painkillers, said Thomas. No, no, I'm not in pain. What the hell happened to my leg? I'm sorry. It n oh. I'm sorry. It needed to be done. Your legs were so bad of shape that they would be messing with your circulation, so I had to, well, you know. Emil explained. If only that stupid earthquake didn't happen, said Thomas. Do you think it was the dungeon's way of screwing with us? No, it's something else, Kyle said, sighing. I kept telling them not to build it. Damn, brass. Build what exactly? Emil asked. Kyle explained what he knew. With the amount of problems cropping up around the country, the government's pivoting away from actually dealing with the alien. Dealing with the alien. My favorite Joe, Joe Satriani album. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the military would simply lock away the threats for someone else to deal with while it would only deal with high priority problems needless to say everyone was angry the hell is this i thought we were supposed to be clearing this place out thomas yelled what are we even here for if not to get rid of the monsters well you know with the rise of adventurers the government no longer feels obligated to actually destroy these places. Kyle scoffed. Just do the bare minimum protecting cities while leaving the glory chasers and out of work to do the real hard work. He continued. While the two Angelians were bitter, Emil's anger was more reserved. I became a military medic just so I could help people. I thought I'd be brought to disaster areas to help people in need. Put up with a lot of abuse because I thought it was worth it to do the right thing. Thomas gave Emil a sympathetic look. He always wondered why the doctor joined up, despite knowing that he'd be hated, despite his own hatred for the military. Hey, Emil, you've been a big help. Why, Kyle'd probably be in re way worse shape if you weren't around, said Thomas reassuringly. Thank you. I appreciate it, said Emil. So, uh, what now? Thomas asked, to break the silence. <sighs> well, assuming they aren't totally fucking morally depraved, they should be trying to rescue us. Kyle said. Oh. Maybe the two, maybe you two can start trying to move rocks out of the way, help them get to us faster. He continued. I'd help, but yeah. You heard him, Emil. Let's go, said Thomas. The two got to work, lifting and pushing boulders, hoping that on the other side of the tunnel there'd be others doing the same. Thomas pulled most of the weight, but Emil tried his best to catch up. Ah, oh, come on, you suck at this, he said during the job. Lift with your knees, Emil. In the past, Emil would see this talk to be condescending or hostile, but in these circumstances, he saw it as sincere encouragement. Despite their best efforts, after a few hours, they only managed to move some of the boulders.
Do you really think they're trying to rescue us on the other side? Emil asked. Yeah, I'm sure. It's the Engel military. They're heroes. They won't leave us behind, said Thomas. But, but in saying that, his voice wavered, remembering what Kyle told them. I'm jealous of you to put so much faith in the military, Emil said quietly. If it was just me, they would never do the same. Nah, I'm sure they would. Yeah, you're different, but you're still one of us, Thomas said. Emil sneered. <laughs> some of the others sure don't see it that way. I've heard what some of the other soldiers have said about me. Oh, come on. That's locker room talk. <laughs> God, sorry. Locker room talk gives me flashbacks to 20 fucking 16. <laughs> Remember when that was the phrase du jour? Quite. God, I just... Uh. You really are dense. You just don't understand, do you? Of course, it's not a big deal to you, but you don't understand how it's like for me. I don't see how it's like to have people around you hating you, suspicious of you. You don't understand that no matter what I do, those people will see me as filth. I'd say that the military appreciates my medical skills, but they'll be happy to throw me under the bus once I stop being useful. Hey, Emil? Thomas asked. Huh? I'm sorry, you know, for being a huge jerk. Didn't realize how serious it all was. Thomas murmured. <sighs> it's kind of a weak apology, but I appreciate it. Emil said. Yeah, it is, but hey, maybe when we get out of here, I can treat you to grub. How's that sound? Nobody's ever offered to buy me food before. That honestly sounds pretty sincere to me. Yeah, you, me, and Kyle, we're getting out of here, and we're going to eat somewhere nice in the city, Thomas declared. <sighs> yeah, we can do this. All right, Thomas. Bah, you know what? I'll let you call me Tommy. Okay, Tommy, let's get back to work. Well, that's fucked. They're friends now. They're friends because they're about to die. Yep. They're going to get slimed. All right, let's just check out the rest of this floor real quick just to see if there's anything else hiding in here. It said we cleared all the slimes out, but I want to just double check it. Is this a big peace sign? Is it? I think it is. It's vaguely circular. It's got the three sections, right? The two, three lines meeting in the middle. And if you squint enough. <laughs> either that or it's like a face or something. Well. Down I feel the go. worst about killing the spider that was just trying to dig. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Diggy, 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 diggy. Floor 10. Burnt angle flag. What else we got here? It's a pile of rope. Take a break. The box of food was similar to Julius, familiar to Julius. They were relief packages put together by the Church of the Holy Heart, donated to struggling and destroyed communities. Probably brought by the heretic, he thought. He knows that he wasn't the first of the church to undertake the holy mission of purging the slime den. First, there was the girl who fashioned herself like a crusader of olden days, fighting alongside her friends. Such a shame. Then there was the heretic, the former farmer turned crusader, vanquishing monsters with a scythe who grew in the ranks. Until, the last he, until he retreated from the dungeon, babbling nonsense, questioning the will of the church. To be a truly holy person, one must be unwavering in their faith, forever holding a righteous rage in your heart. I'm not that man, Julius thought, casting a glare at the healer. All he felt looking at the man was hatred, but it was a hatred he considered just. Just what? He felt he all he only felt just hatred. <laughs> it was I that pun wasn't gonna work out, was it? <laughs> Alright, what do you got for us? If I could, I'd burn this whole nation to the ground. Burn them. Burn them all. That's not good. Okay, so what we're gonna do now. We're going to do a signal flare to Julius, right? Stun them all so we get a turn to set up. Okay.
Nice. That's a good spread of damage, though. Yeah. Let's see. Do another concentrate. Get some more TP to work with. Right, that thing's always going to evade us. Let's do a heal. They Ooh. do heal. They do heal. That's what I was worried about. I hate that. Don't like that at all. Okay, that's one down. I like I knew the further we went along eventually we run into whatever it was that made these ones a pain in the ass. Okay. Let's see. I'm just gonna have uh healer here just gain TP so we can do a big heal after the battle. Oh, no, or right I think now. We'll yourself. Or right now. Yep. Never mind. Frustration sets in. I never, we've never seen that before. Yeah, that's our longest slime fight, I guess. Yeah. Ray Terra. All right. We remember Ray from the from the Crusader group, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Hold on. Let me do some quick healing and stuff. And do a full reload. And then... Let's read about Ray Terra. Welcome to the confessional booth, my child. I don't remember the voices we gave these characters, but that's fine. Please tell me what's on your mind. Do you want to be Ray? Or sure. was I Ray? I thought you were, but I can be if yeah, you want. Yeah, why don't you take a Ray for now? Okay. Hello, Father. Oh, it's you, Miss Tara. You haven't attended services in weeks ever since you... Ever since you came back. Are you all right? Are you still putting your life on the line for the church? No, no. I've given up on it. I see. Guessing that it was because of what happened to your friends. Am I correct, my child? Well, yes. I I failed them. I'm a failure of a paladin. But I can't keep what happened to myself. You were right to come here, my child. Confess the sins and tragedies that weigh on your heart. May your heart be unburdened by the weight of trauma, for it will house a soul that cannot find peace. I see that you haven't give up on the given up on the scripture, at least. Yes, I've been reviewing the word to find answers for myself. Where do I even start? Anna, I, I failed her first. I became a crusader to protect people from monsters, yet... It's okay to cry, Miss Tara. Tell me what happened. It, it happened after Anna and Clark got in an argument. We wouldn't have gotten so far if it weren't for me. Oh, come on. I'm sorry for missing that slime, but the wound it gave you isn't that bad. Well, I'm the healer. It shouldn't have been a wound at all. I'm only supposed to heal you guys if I get injured, eh? None of you idiots know how to put together these natural herbs on the fly. Hey, hey, hey. Let's all calm down here. Yeah, we're all putting our lives on the line down here, Clark. Why are you so mad anyway? We've all been through worse. Like, what, are you still mad about not being seen as the hero? You should be mad, too. Joseph did jack against the angel, but the media isn't loving him. Ah, <sighs> that wasn't his fault. You understand, right? Oh, he does. He's just a self-centered asshole. So what if I'm self-centered? You guys would be all being graves if I wasn't wanting to help you. Like, ooh, wow, look at me, carrying a big dumb shield. Nothing can hurt me. It, it's not dumb. Oh my god, Clark, can you shut the fuck up? And we were so distracted that we didn't notice it. A weird-looking slime appeared. I can't remember what it looked like. All I could remember was that it had a part like a lance. Oof. That would be Tommy, wouldn't it? Probably. My favorite The Who album.
<laughs> and it's skewered. Anna! No. Huh? Joseph and I sprung into action, but it was too... That thing pierced through her. I don't think I can. Anna, Anna! Oh no, 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 I'm so sorry. I should have been paying attention. I was supposed to protect you. I should have... It it's... It's not your fault. Miss Tara, no, no, Ray. I'm so sorry to hear that, but she was right. It's not your fault. We can't save them all. We can only hope her soul is pure and that she was accepted into the thereafter. And Joseph. Oh, Joseph. I keep seeing it happen in my dreams. What happened, Ray? Ray, Anna's right. It's not, not it's your fault. It's Joseph's. What? What do you mean? Joseph, we all wouldn't be risking our lives if it never invited us to join. If you never invited us to join you, she probably would be studying at home or going to get a nice new job if you didn't re-enter her life. Just stuck it out on your own as an adventure. You hadn't dragged us into your shit. She'd be fine. But hey, you know what? You're not. You know what? You're nothing without us. Been thinking you're hot shit ever since you beat me in fencing all those years ago, getting all the girls, winning tournaments. You couldn't even get up in the morning without someone helping you. Clark. Deep down, you know you're just a piece of shit that drags other people down. And see what happened? I lost it and slapped him, and yet... How can you just say those things? No, he's right. If I wasn't around, Anna would be alright. She wouldn't be down here if it weren't for me. Uh-huh, and you know I give up some jobs to help you. Suffered a job as a crisis medic, but I chose to stick with you because I thought I could get some glory as a monster hunter. You just had to suck up all the fame, didn't you? What's wrong with you? I know that it was unbecoming of me, father, but... I grabbed him by the neck. I just lost control. And in doing so, I turned my back again. Anna kept a pistol in her bag in case she ran out of ammo. Joseph reached into her bag and... And... I'm sorry. I should have done this years ago. I should have done what the angel said. You guys would have won without me. I never would have chosen to come here. Anna would still be alive. Goodbye. I'm sorry. You said your friend wanted to do this for years? Yes, see, well, I thought that he was being haunted by a demon for years. But I think scientists call it depression now. I've tried to help him. Tried getting him to come to church because I thought maybe that could help. It kept him back just enough to keep him from graduating with us. And now... It's not your fault. One shouldn't put the, pull the full weight of another burdens on their back. Father? It's been said in the teaching that those that commit suicide condemn their souls. Do you think that Joseph went to his eternal rest? Hmm. From what you told me, I would believe that he was murdered. Pushed into doing so by another. I believe that his soul is pure and that he went to the thereafter. Thank you, Father. But what say of that last friend? I would not call him a friend. Not after what he did. I'll be honest, Father. He's been an annoying jerk for years, but I wanted to believe that some people can change. But he showed me what he really was. And... I wanted to kill him. I struck him. I just lost control. I wanted him to feel my hatred. Please, d d d don't Shut up, you monster. You don't even feel bad, do you? All you feel is hate. And guess what? That's all I'm feeling for you, you slimy piece of... I hated him. I hated him so much. In that moment, it was just us. I could have bashed his head in if I wanted to. But I stopped walking toward him. I couldn't bring myself to do it. But that rat wanted to kill me. He took one of Joseph's swords, and he had the initiative, but... More slimes appeared, a lot of them. Hey, aren't you gonna help me? Hey, hey! <sighs> that was very shameful what you did. 
You didn't kill him, but you condemned him to die. If anything, killing him yourself would have been merciful compared to being ripped apart by monsters. Yes, that's why I can't be a crusader. I'm not of holy stock. I don't think anything I do can redeem me. But, to be honest, part of why I came here was because I didn't feel any guilt at all. I thought that by finally admitting to all of this, I'd feel something about Clark. And I'm sorry to say this, Father, but I feel no guilt about leaving him to die at all. I still cry about Anna and Joseph, but I'm glad that guy is dead. What do I even say to this? Well, well, do you repent of your acts? Truthfully? Only for failing to protect Anna and Joseph. I see. Well, hope to see you at services again, Miss Tara. I really advise you to come. Really. Well, that's moderately fucked up. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that went all too well, huh? No. That also seems like a good place to call for the day. All right. Join us again next time. For more slime. For more fun slime game. <laughs> Woo! We have fun here. <laughs> Seriously, though, I am liking this and I'm loving the... Uh, I really do... The combat is is engaging and it, it's, it's, it's fun to kind of get in the rhythm of. And it's different from what you expect from, like, an RPG maker RPG. You expect, like, sword <laughs> It's fight. an actual RPG, for one. Right, but that but it, it's I, different I know, than what you expect from games in this genre. You expect, like, oh, you'll find new equipment that makes you stronger, you'll get all these different spells, and it's like, no, this is very much about combining the abilities you have in different ways yeah. to deal with the threats you encounter, and not so much about the getting powerful and making the colorful numbers get bigger. Exactly. And that's cool. I think it's really well designed. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much more there is in this game. Uh, I know it's fairly lengthy. The creator described it as three to four hours. Obviously, it takes us longer to do stuff because we're always reading and, you know, shooting the shit and stuff like that. But I think we'll keep going for now. Yeah. So we'll see you again on another episode. Next slime. Next slime. Oh, that's really... I should have used that. Next slime. I'm going to edit it out so you could only hear mine and not hers. Smash, 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 like, comment, and subscribe, and subscribe.